Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Today's adventure begins here at Market Street, Market Square, downtown celebration, but I will be getting in my vehicle, heading over. Down just, at, oh, the church bells are ringing. That must mean it must be, well, I don't have my clock. I'm guessing it is probably noon. It might be one, it might be 11. I think it's noon, heading over to the soft opening. It was slated for a June 15th. By the way, the recording of this, June 10th, 2021. Now, Portillo's is the subject matter that I am talking about, a Chicago food-based company, which I've been to the one in Buena Park, California a few times, but the one here is now finally rearing its head. I'm heading over there and I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? Oh yeah, it is noon, 12 o'clock, so should get some pretty good crowd levels on how the lines are over at Portillo's once I get over there, noon on the dock. Now this is located on the corner of Daryl Carter Parkway and Palm Parkway. Technically it's on Palm Parkway and I have to do, well not a U-turn, I have to just like do a little turn in here. Portillo's, I made it. They were cones, it says drive through, entrance this way. Also parking this way, I'm gonna actually park and go inside but you can see the drive through, kind of lengthy, yeah. Quite a few cars, very excited. The worker delivering some of the food. Orlando, Florida, Portillo's. That's in the same parking lot as the new White Castle. And there's the little Portillo's hot dog stand over there too. Once I park, I'll show in more detail. Limit 10 sandwiches per car. So if you're doing takeout, this is the takeout line, the drive-through. Limit 10 sandwiches, so you can only have 10 sandwiches and this place is a real beehive of activity because not only is there on this side of the parking lot the world's largest White Castle, which I attended opening day of that, but there's also this new establishment as well. And there is the dog house. I'm just going to walk along the side of these stanchions here and show that this is how it originally started. The guy who created the company and the owner started the dog house. Oh yeah, Vienna Red Hots. That is the way to have a Chicago dog. Fries and all the trimmings, 35 cents. And over here is a little bit of information about the dog house. In 1963, at the age of 23, with a $1,100 investment, Dick Portillo opened a six by 12 trailer known as the Dog House, located in Villa, V-I-L-L-L-A Park, Villa Park, Illinois. The Dog House had no running water or a restroom. To keep the water heating, he had a connected 50-foot garden hose adjacent to the building. This is the Dog House back in 1963. There it is, right there. There is Mr. Portillo in front of there, and here he is later in life at, in 2003 in front of the original doghouse replica. So this might be what I'm standing in front of. Might not be the original doghouse. It might be a replica. It says not actual prices. These reflect 1963, because you know some will probably show up here trying to get a price match on that. And, you know, at this current time, state of the date, and I state of the time frame before coming over here, not too busy, so if you're in this neighborhood and you would like a Chicago dog or maybe a steak sandwich or they also have a shake that has a cake, get a full slice of cake in a shake, it's not that, not, that, not that long of a line. I believe it's not called a steak sandwich, I think it's called a beef sandwich. I'm not sure what the difference is. Today, I'm getting Chicago dogs and a soda and maybe some fries. News, newsman bites dog, a newsman bites a dog. I've never seen a newsman bite a dog. You know what I think? It says news man bites dog and another business has gone to the dog. Okay, so a man is eating a hot dog or it could be, if you read it differently, it's newsman bites, <laughs> the newsman bites a dog. You can look at it either way, right there. Portillo's hot dog, beef, burgers, and so oh, they have salads as well and they're still doing a little bit of work on it because it's technically not open yet it's not grand opening this once again is a soft opening they're just preparing they have everything set up once those re receive their food go through the drive through or getting takeout or dining in and then leaving they have the cone set up here that you exit 
plenty of people in the drive through line. Now I'm gonna go inside, I'm gonna attempt to eat in. Okay, I am now inside. We have the big P here on the floor, standing for Portillo's, and I'm seeing a television up there. No, that's not a television, that is a music amp, that's a guitar amp. We got the American flag, we got order pick, online order pick up there. We have a lot of Coca-Cola memorabilia as well. And they are, they're making the announcement on who's oh, Elvis Presley up top as well. And these are the booths. There are plenty of places to dine in and sit. And there's also tables as well, I believe. It says, oh, it says catering right up there. And of course, they are now hiring as well. Yeah, this is how I go through here. And this looks to be the line where I go and order the food. Now, there is a television over on this side, on the other side of the amp. Oh, there's another Elvis up top here, Elvis Presley. I like the fact that they have ceiling fans in here. And there is a kick drum as well and a really big shoe. And look at this guitar with the frets and the strings running all along the side. There is a guitar on the wall. And there's some of the options there. They have a beef and cheddar croissant. They have a chocolate cake shake. They have chili. They have super cheeseburgers. Yeah, they have just a little bit of everything. There is also a Barbie and Midge doll case up there as well. And I like all the stuff that's on the side of the, the walls. We got the Shangri-Las. We got Jan and Dean. We got Reach for the Batter Whip Sun Beam. We got an Aretha Franklin record up there. Aretha Now. Yeah, the theme. Oh, there we go. We got uh, the dino up there, the Sinclair dino, Bridget there. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of nostalgia in here. And at the end of the guitar, it has the, the restaurant name spelled out there. Portillas, hot dog, beef, burgers, and salads. Good food, dine with us. That's what it states right there. It says, good food, dine with us. Now there is, hello, <laughs> there's the menu right over there. The number one is the big Italian beef. I'm gonna go for the two hot dog special, but I wanna get Chicago style dogs. That's kinda, kinda my go-to. There's, there's a big record on the side of the wall over there too. It says, feed your soul with rock and roll. Oh, there's a lot more stuff on the menu. There's a big menu board. It's a little bit of a lie, but really not as bad as I thought it would be weight-wise. I'm almost to the front. And there is a little gas pump here. Mobile gas special right there. Oh, there is a Federal Daily. Oh, I wonder what's behind here. Oh, here we go right there. There's a chef of some sort that says good food, dine in. So I like how they have different stuff other than just Portillo's. It says you get more with Esso. Okay, I'm gonna now go over here and look more at the menu itself. You can make it a large for a dollar. Oh, they also have hamburgers. There's hamburgers there. Okay, once I actually get up to this section, it is, it's not moving super fast, but at least I got in here on a timely matter, but I'm looking back at the guitar, and this kind of shows the whole entire restaurant. And they have lots of neon. This is the back side of the, the line neon here as well. There is a big root beer, like it's, what do you call that? Big root beer, like, I don't know what you got. Like, I don't know what, what you would call that, but it's like a big jug, a big jug of root beer with a nozzle on it. What do you call that? I always think of Pete's Dragon when Lampy is dancing in the bar scenes on the beer keg, on the beer keg. So that's, he wasn't dancing on root beer though. Lampy was not dancing on root beer. All right, I'm looking now. It's not called the Chicago dog. It's called the Portillo's beef hot dog. There is a regular and a jumbo. The jumbo is $3.99. It has mustards, relish, onion, tomato, celery, salt, pickles, and sport peppers. I think I might get two of those. I think I might get two of those and then maybe a chili cheese dog. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get two of those and a chili cheese dog. Now, I don't know if any of that correlates to the Famous Fry, well, there's Famous Five, not the Famous Fry, the Famous Five. You can see there's one, two, three, four, five. Italian beef and sausage combo, a spiced chicken sandwich, a double charboiled cheeseburger, the two hot dogs is what I'm going with, and I'm gonna get an additional chili cheese dog. They also have a Polish as well. They also have onion rings, and they also have new hot GRD Niara sauce. Ooh, I wonder what that is. Hot Giardiana sauce. They also have these desserts. They have the chocolate cake, which you can also get in the shake as well. Okay, yeah, I'm just I'm going with the, the two Chicago dogs, aka the Portillo's beef hot dog. But they also have they also have chopped salad. Now I have heard good stuff about this spicy chicken sandwich. I might have to get that for another time. 
they have different sizes. This is the large. Well, that is the large drink. That is the large fries or onion rings. Then they have small, and they have the small there. They have the LCD screen with the cheese as well. And you can see a Maxwell Polish sausage sign back there. And they are you know, fresh baked bread over there. It's very exciting. Everyone in here is very excited. All right. Yeah, they haven't eaten in about 34 hours. <laughs> I haven't either. I'm pretty hungry. I, I, I know how they feel. Look, there's a traffic light now. There. Fresh baked bread only on that rack. Oh, look at that steam emitting from the onions over there. I'm getting a peek into the kitchen. The customer is the foundation of our business. Mr. Portillo stated that. Cheese fries. Why not add some cheese fries to your order? Now, the drive through is over there and they have workers delivering the food out to the car. I have ordered, my number is 301. 301 is my order. I have to head down to the end. Oh, look at the order board up here. They are very organized. It says time to dine. Also says in progress right over there. I really like the, the setup so you know when your, your order. Now I am number 301, so mine is in progress. So right there, 301, that's me. There's the pickup area here. That is where I order down there. Here's where they drop the food off. Oh, that is where they have the fries, or the fry stations over in there. Once again, it does say that they are hiring, and there is the original doghouse photo right up there. There's the homemade chocolate cake. Oh, look, some of the celebrities that have stopped off in here. Oh, it's the Seinfeld No Soup For You guy. Interesting. Oh, and here, here is a jukebox as well. Oh, this is interesting. They have Close Encounters of the Third Kind if you want to have a little creepy ambiance, alien ambiance in here. They also have the Beatles, and they also have Captain and Tennille. Yeah, look at this. This is an old school style little jukebox here. Very, very nice with the handwriting on the side. We got, we got Beatles right there. We also got... What do we got else on here? We have Band on the Run, Paul McCartney Wings, and here is a traffic signal. Oh, here's some of that cake right over in there. And this is looking back. I'm just trying to give the full, the full like loop around this entire place. Oh, there's a tricycle or some sort of a, well, some sort of a bike. Don't take that down any slides. 301 is still in progress. They also do catering. Okay, I've showed enough. I was waiting for my food now. Oh, I see my number up there. 301 has been moved to the time to... Oh, that's mine right there. 301, yeah. Yeah, we're waiting on your... Do you just see the receipt? Yeah, we're waiting on your article. Oh, okay, thank You're you. Are vlogging for YouTube? I am, yeah. Oh, hi. You want to be in the video? What up? My name is Ava. <laughs> awesome. Angie. I got my food just waiting on waiting on the beverage. There we go. 301 right there. Here's a large Thank oh, you so much. Enjoy. Thank you. This is this is definitely a large. That is by far not a small. All right, thank you. Bye, have a good day. I will. And this is what we're dealing with. I had a little condiment bar, so I got some ketchup there. Also got my plastic cutlery. They have their own little inscription on the napkins there, yum beef. This is the bag itself with the Portillo hot dog right there, looking very, very content and happy, waving the tail. There, that's the size of the onion ring. Now this drink is, so let me just put the fork up next to that. That's the size of the drink. That's the size of the onion rings. This thing is a good size onion ring. And I got three different dogs right over there. And you can see I'm sitting pretty close to where the line is and the menu itself, right underneath the guitar, looking back across the dining room. Just need to unwrap what I got here. Okay, the first one is that Portillo Chicago style dog. You can just look at all the stuff on here. So you have Oh, I think you're supposed to eat those peppers 
on the hot dog itself and not by themselves. My eyes are watering. that taste. I've had a Chicago dog in Chicago, which is pretty awesome. Most the other ones. Way to park. Yeah, park. So you got those peppers, you want to have the drink somewhere in the close vicinity. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Okay, these are crunchy. A lot more crunchy than I thought they were going to be. Pretty good. But very, very crunchy. Now, does the mascot have a name? The hot dog? A little, little dog there with the hot dog written on the side? Does they have a name? You have delivered the goods. Well, Portillo's delivered the goods to Palm Park Park. A road that not many even knew about until recently. But things are popping up around here. Fairly obvious. Don't need many clues on which dog this is. It's going to be the chili and cheese hot dog. As I kind of roll it open there, we got the cheese melted. We got the chili on top of it. We have the bread with the little morsels, what are they called, sesame seeds, right down in there. I'm assuming those are sesame seeds, and you know what they say, when you assume something, you make a you-know-what out of you and me, so could be wrong on that, but they are seeds nonetheless right here. Oh yeah, this thing is drenched in chili. Look at that thing. <laughs> yes, and I still have one of the Portillo dogs over there to go, but this thing needs to end up in my belly sooner than later. I'm trying to have all of that on there. Look at this. The Portillo, the Portillo's chili dog going in. I'm going in hot. It's going in hot. It's pretty, it's warm. It's lukewarm. Mmm. You know what's good when it does that little popping sound when you bite the dog? The little front? It's more than lukewarm. Pretty toasty. Mm. My goodness, that's good. I don't know which I like better, the chili dog or the Chicago Portillo dog. I do gotta come back and get that beef. The Italian beef is what everyone suggests all the time. And also the chicken sandwich. I've had quite a few people say get the chicken sandwich. I might have to do a return review. This review, big thumbs up. Oh yeah. And the fact that it's in the same parking lot as White Castle, that's a win-win. They will be getting my business on more than one occasion. Multiple occasions. I'll tell you that right now. Maybe by that point I'll learn the dog's name. Maybe he's unnamed. Maybe he's like Prince, the artist formerly known as the Portillo's hot dog. I still need to polish off this last dog and these onion rings. I opted not to have the french fries. I uh, upgraded to the, the onion rings. These very crunchy onion rings. See if you can hear the crunch. Listen. Very crunchy. Honestly, maybe a little too crunchy. Maybe a step down from the crunchiness that they've given me would be perfect, but they're still good. But I think maybe just a tad bit too crunchy for my taste. Look at that. That is a thing of beauty right there. 
can't get to Chicago and have a legit Chicago dog. Now, I also will mention, I did get ketchup over here. That is only if I so choose, but you'll notice I haven't even touched the ketchup. I got it just in case I wanted to dip these crunchy, these crunchy, listen for the crunch. So that was just for those. You never want to, it is frowned upon. Let me let me finish chewing first. It is very frowned upon. I've been told this by many people and it just kind of comes natural. You don't want to put a ketchup on a Chicago dog. Oh, no, don't go. I think I'm saying that right. Don't go to Chicago and ask for ketchup on a Chicago dog. That, that is frowned upon. It's just a good way of saying. They may tell you something other than, hey, that's frowned upon. There may be some other dialogue that you're, you're given there. You want to have mustard. They make it the correct way. This has a mixture of onions, pickle, peppers, a little bit of relish, and the dog, Vienna style dog, even some tomatoes on there as well. Mm. And that first bite, it does that poppy front. Oh yeah, when you know it's good. Can you tell I'm happy right now? Oh goodness, that was awesome. I may have ate a little too fast, didn't really savor it as quick, but I was excited. I downed those, that whole meal pretty quickly. You see the drive through here, very, very lengthy. I'm gonna walk around, kind of give the perspective here from the road. They got two drive through lights as well. And you can see International Drive is not far off. There's two International Drive, that signage there. Portillo's has, well, I think official grand opening is the 15th, if they still do a grand opening celebration or not. But it is soft open. I think it's been a soft open for a couple weeks. A couple weeks now, or maybe a week. Nonetheless, you can show up now, get yourself a hot dog, a beef, burger or a salad if you so choose and that's going to do it for today from orlando florida home of the first central florida well orlando the first orlando portillos it has arrived and with that the vlog is over and just to show a reference point the orlando eye now called Icon Orlando. You can see off in the distance there, that big Ferris wheel. Within view of this new restaurant.